Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer and thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Hey, apologize, I'm a little late on getting these challenges out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have not been feeling good. And it's like yesterday, we had four inches of rain here. It has been raining, raining, raining. I think we got more rain and thunderstorms coming later today. It's absolutely insane. You think it was March or something and here we are in August. You know, winter's right around the corner. Well, here we are today in this video, we're going to be working on excuse me we're going to be working on search where the stone heads are looking now you know my videos if you've seen my videos in the past videos like this I put a little extra detail on them I'm going to show you a map exactly where they're located at I'm actually going to show you where the stones are because some you know some players might not even realize that these stones are where they are some of them are completely surrounded by trees and you might have flown right over them and didn't even know they was there Especially with the trees, if they've got a chest by them, the trees might have covered up the chest when you was flying over it and didn't know it was there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map I put together so you can see where these are at. Okay, here's the map I put together, and you can see, looking on the map, there's a total of seven of the stones faces placed on the map. You got one up there by Haunted Hills. You got one by Risky Reels. There's one there by um, Dusty Divot. You got one by Looney Lodge. You got one right there to the right of uh, Shifty Sh um, Shafts, Grishy Grove, and down there by Lucky Landing. And also there by Tomato Town. Now, you can see I put a line on these for a purpose because the challenge says you got to search the area where the stones are facing. And so I even went as far as I took one stone and went. A I used the um, the image and I flew over it and I cut that out and I placed it on the map and I did my best at placing it as it was in the game and you can see where all these are facing and they're facing right there by sorry I had to cough I had to mute the mic um, but right there by Salty Springs now what I'm gonna do is because People might not want to see where the faces are and stuff like that. They just want to see where the battle star is. So I'm going to show where the battle star is. Then if you're interested in knowing where the faces are, what they look like, what you need to look for when you go to that area, that footage will be after the battle star location. So let's go ahead and fly in and let's pick up this battle star. Okay, we're on the battle bus. We're getting ready to jump off of it. And again, it's right there by Salty Springs. Right there by the S in Salty is where we're going. And as I jump off, I'm going to line my body up where my back is going to be right there in line. You can see that little area right there, straight ahead. Right here is where we're going. See somebody else is going to land here also. See, they just picked theirs up, and there's ours. And just to confirm that, yes, that was it. Well, you can see it there on your screen. There's my reward I got, and you can see there is the check mark for search where the stone heads are looking. Okay, let's check out the seven locations of these headstones. This location here is Junk Junction. Uh, I will pan up, and it will come in to play. You'll see there's like um. Like a little factory or something just to the lower right hand corner of Junk Junction that's right there it is there that's where this stone is the closest to and right there is Junk Junction the second one is Tomato Town you can see Tomato Town there on your left hand side and the good thing is your next stone headstone is real close to this one 
So if you want to go travel these. But you see I was talking about how the trees kind of hides this. So you can really fly right over this if you're not paying attention. And the trees really kind of hide the fact that you can see in this gameplay here. That one back in I looked at the footage of that there's actually three chests on this one. So now what we're going to do is going to pop up and look straight ahead and you can see right there in the distance you can see the dusty divot headstone that we're going to go ahead and glide to. So these two, I think these two stones here are probably the closest to each other. And again this this headstone's got three chests on. Now they don't always have three chests, you know sometimes they got one, sometimes they have two. Um, I do like to land on these because you're almost guaranteed three chests every time. As you saw, these two here just had three. I don't remember what the first one was. This next one is Lonely Lodge. You just saw it there on the left-hand side. And again, we have three chests. This is all the same gameplay, folks. It, all the all these headstones were taken from the same gameplay. So far, every one of them had three chests. And, And here's another one. Looks like it's got three chests on it also. Yeah, this was a, a, a 50, um, the new 50 mode gameplay that I took this from. And this one is Greasy Grove. Now we're going to move on to Shifty Shaft. You can see I'm looking around for it. And then I see it right there. This is the one with the car on top of it. And again, this one has three chests on it. This, it's actually crazy. I never noticed before when I've gone through looking at the footage for other challenges and stuff that these stones had always had three chests because what you see is what was in the gameplay now we're at the last one which is lucky landing Let's see if this one uh, this one's got three on it also wow crazy every one of these headstones had three chests on them this one's got one on top of it though so you'd have to build up to get to that one but again I'm showing you all these head pieces so you can see you know the way they're facing and I think I do with this one here. I did it with some of the other ones a second ago. That you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera up so you can see how it's facing. Because that's what the challenge says. You know, you gotta search an area on the way that the headstones are looking. And there you go. Just a little bit of extra footage that you know, in case you didn't know where all the headstones were. Now you do, and now you found out that, at least during this gameplay, every one of these headstones had three chests on it. I wasn't aware of that. I've seen them quite a few times have two, sometimes only have one, but all have three. That's a little crazy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.